Hello everybody, I'm Ajit K. Mishra, your course instructor for Essential Life Skills. I'm here again with a new module and this module is about essential leadership skills. Motivation is also an equally important skill of a great leader. So leaders need to inspire their workers or their colleagues or the team members to go that extra mile for their organizations or their organizational goals or team goals. So the organization becomes a team here. So the organization's goals can only be actualized, can be realized only when the leaders are able to inspire the team members to go that extra mile for the organization's goal. So it becomes important that a leader builds, employs self-esteem or self-esteem in the team members through recognition and rewards. Recognition and rewards play a very, very important or a vital role in not only the team building process, but also in the team sustaining process. For any team to be sustainable, for any team to focus on the goal, the shared goal, and for any team to work towards the accomplishment of the shared goal, it's important that leaders are able to share or extend recognition and rewards with the team members. Because when as a leader I recognize the contribution of my colleague, the colleague will feel very, very assured. The colleague will feel special, encouraged and motivated. Similarly, when a reward is given to a colleague in terms of promotion, in terms of some gift, some other form of reward, that will not only encourage them, but also establish that connection and bonding with the team and the organization. Therefore, it's important that we as leaders recognize and reward our friends, our team members. For such skills, Leaders have to act as mentors. Mentoring is a very important practice here because leaders will have to mentor or act as the mentors of the team members. If one of the team members is struggling with an issue, with a problem, then the leader must come forward and help the team member come to terms with that particular problem. So mentoring always helps. Rewarding helps and then supporting also helps to a great extent because the team members will feel that there is somebody to stand by them, there is somebody to support them in times of difficulty, in times of crisis. So this is the, the second most important skill of top leaders. That brings us to the third most important skill of great leaders, that is delegating. As I told you at the beginning of this session that this is not the era of the superhero. So I, as a leader, cannot expect that I'll do everything on my own. That is impossible. I'm not competent in all matters and I'm also not good at everything that I want to do. So that way, I must learn how to delegate my responsibilities, my tasks to the team members as a leader. So leaders who try to take on too many tasks by themselves will struggle to get anything done. So if I want to do so many things, I'll probably end up doing nothing. So such leaders often fear that delegating tasks is a sign of weakness, which is not the case in actuality. If I delegate one of my tasks to my team members, my colleagues, it will not mean that I'm incompetent in doing that. Rather, it will mean that I trust my colleague and I know that my colleague can also do that well. So that will build great rapport, great understanding and great trust and connection between me and my colleagues. So that's not a sign of weakness, it is actually can be a sign of a strong leader. So it's very important for a leader who wants to delegate, 
to identify the skills of each of the team members and to assign them duties and responsibilities or tasks accordingly. So it's very important that I as a leader identify the skills of my colleagues, my team members. So if there is a need, I can also train my colleagues, my team members and I must show that trust in them. So before I can delegate, I'll have to decide that I, I am going to delegate these tasks to my team members, my colleagues. And before I do so, I must ensure that I have identified the skills of my colleagues and my team members. And then I can do this. The next important leadership skill is positivity. It's very important for all leaders, all great leaders to be positive and to remain positive all through. Because a positive attitude can, uh, can go a long way in an, in an organizational setup. As leaders, we should be able to laugh at our sense when something doesn't go quite well as planned. This helps create a happy and healthy work environment. It is not about using the I versus you language. It's not that I am good and you are not. I am okay, you are not okay. I am a good leader and you are bad leader, so bad team members. That will not work well. And that's the reason why it is important that we do not engage in such language, I versus you language. So when we can also laugh at our own mistakes, stupidity at times, that will create a very positive environment in the organization. So uh, even during busy and stressful periods, we can think of uh, uh, adding some lighter moments, some humor, uh, some relaxing moments in the organizational setup or in the team uh, environment. That will help great leaders build rapport with the team members, which is very, very important. That will also help great leaders, help team members show caring for them and show respect for the team members. It is very, very important that we create that positive environment in a team. The next important uh, leadership skill is trustworthiness. We all know where there is no trust, there is no team effort on teamwork. Trustworthiness can be established only when we begin to develop credibility and integrity. Trustworthiness is very important for all great leaders to demonstrate because it helps us demonstrate our integrity because our colleagues, our team members will trust only those leaders who have great credibility and integrity. So by being open and honest, we'll not only encourage our team members, we'll also be able to establish that credibility with them. So in order to develop great trustworthiness, it's important that great leaders begin with a culture of accountability. That means every team member is accountable. It's not that the leader is above the team, therefore the leader is not accountable for any problems, any disasters. Everybody is accountable. The second is, if a leader knows how to apologize to the team members when the leader commits any error. There's nothing like that. That will immediately establish the credibility of the leader because it will send a message to the team members that the leader can also go wrong. The leader, after all, is also a team member. So therefore, all the team members will feel alike. They will feel as if they are at par and there is no hierarchy and there is, there is no oppressive hierarchy in the team. Similarly, it's very important that we establish reliability, integrity and credibility through whatever we say and whatever we do. So for all leaders, 
it's one of the most important skills. The next top leadership skill is creativity. Without this particular skill, all leaders will become stagnant at some point in time. Because after that, the mind will not think in a creative direction and it will be very difficult for leaders to think innovatively or creatively. So it's very important that as a leader, we have to make a number of decisions that do not have a clear answer. So we need to be able to think outside the box. So this is called out of the box thinking or divergent thinking. So when leaders know how to think outside the box or out of the box or divergently, it will mean that they are very, very curious, they are imaginative and they are innovative. So with a great deal of curiosity, imagination and innovative approach, we can think of going that extra mile, we can think of problems in an innovative manner, in an out of the box manner and we can think of finding solutions to problems in a, a very novel and innovative way and that way it's going to help us a lot. Similarly, flexibility is also very, very important. By not being flexible, leaders will harm their credibility, their integrity, their trustworthiness and their ability as well. We have to be flexible. There is no other way out. Leaders need to be flexible, accepting whatever changes come their way. I cannot say that I cannot accept this change. Even though I say that the change will not stop for me, it will happen and move. Only I will be left behind, which any good leader will never ever afford. So it's important that leaders are flexible and they know how to adapt to changes well. So we all know when we develop this ability to change or adapt, it is highly valued by our employers because they know that with such a mindset, with such an approach, the employees can always go for that extra stride and think creatively to solve problems. So such skills require adaptability, improvising, that means if I have done something today and if I'm asked to do the same thing after a week, after a month, I must know how to improvise. If I continue to do the same thing in the same manner, it will mean that I'm not improvising. That means I'm where I was a month ago and that is not good for great leadership. So, and then learning new skills. It will also mean that I learn new skills and I apply those newly learned skills to the various leadership activities. So, to sum up, leadership is all about developing these skills in us. Leadership is all about being able to do a lot of things, a variety of things. Leadership in our times is all about realizing the fact that we all are leaders. There is not just one leader and we all are followers. No, we have to believe that we all are leaders. Therefore, we have to develop great leadership skills in each one of us because we never know when we'll be asked to lead a team for a certain project. When that happens, we'll have to exhibit, we'll have to display some great leadership skills. With that, we come to the end of this session. I'm sure you have taken note of the important leadership skills that I talked about through this session and you're going to explore them yet further. When I meet you next in a new session, I'll be talking about some other important aspects of leadership skills. Till then, bye-bye.